happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, hey, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Realistic DX380. This is an AM, FM, long wave, short wave portable radio. I got this off eBay for a total of 45 bucks, and I'm pretty excited. This radio comes from 1991. Yeah. And to get the original box, paperwork, original pouch, is all pretty awesome. So let's look at the box. Here you go. Voice of the world. Digital tuning. All bander. Sweet. There's a picture of it. Here you go. Tunes local FM stereo. Yeah, FM stereo. You know I'm a fan. Long wave, short wave. Full short wave coverage. Nice. Okay, that's the box. Took everything out. Let's look and see what we get. So inside, uh, I was pretty happy to get the original manual, which is nice. Look at that in a second. Got a carry pouch here. Realistic brand, nice. Almost looks new. Loving that. Everybody likes having those. So here is the catalog. It's kind of old and yellowed, but it's 30 years old. What do you expect? <laughs> There's the model number 20-213A. I'll just open this up and flip through it as we talk. So yeah, I was hunting for this radio and found a good example. Uh, these usually go for 50 bucks uh, just for the radio alone. A lot of times the radio is beat up. Uh, I was wondering why it's such a good, you know, a high price for this radio since it doesn't have single sideband, right? No single sideband. But I found out I know why. It's a very sensitive radio on FM, medium wave, short wave, just amazing. Now, long wave I haven't been able to test, but uh, yeah, it's great. Uh, enjoying this. Ran it through the paces and I'm really happy with it so far. So it shows you a little about the radio and we'll talk about the features here in a second. I saw it for posterity. I'm sure you could download this manual online somewhere, but here it is in my video, page to page. You can always pause and read this, which is really nice. I'm showing you clock radio operation. Again, this radio is very easy to operate, very easy to figure out. Uh, very happy with using this radio too, and its size. When you see the size, it's actually a perfect size for a shortwave radio. I love it. Maintenance. Here we go. Specifications. Uh, we have some conductor list. It's on the inside. Uh, some shortwave coverage. They do have it uh, set up in bands also. You can go continuous or directly to those meter bands and search those for what we're going to do tonight. Uh, there's some information. More information there. And I think this last page is sensitivity for those who like to have that. So there's your AM sensitivity sc scales there. FM. There you go. Okay, so we're done with the manual. I know it in here it had a date somewhere. It said 1991. I don't recall. There it is. 1991. Tandy Corporation. So they might have been making this radio because this is an A model. So they might have been making this in the 80s also. So there it is. Now let's get to the radio. Front and center. The star of the show, right? Let's go and zoom it on down. Go over dimensions. And we'll talk about features and get turning this thing on, right? So it's 8 inches across. 5 inches high. And a depth of one and a half inches. Uh, size comparison, I always like to have these handy. We have CC Pocket. Now look at that. CC Pocket's a pretty small radio, right? Fits in the hand. So this DX380 is actually not a bad size radio. It's like the size of a, I'd say a medium sized paperback. Yeah. Small hardcover. There you go. Um, next we have Skywave for size comparison. Now Skywave is a small portable shortwave radio. To give you an idea for size, here we are. And of course, last but not least, I always like to bring out a deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves realistic radios from Radio Shack land that no longer exists. But Iron Man doesn't care. <laughs> he's got the radio. I like collecting them, as you can tell. Um, so let's talk about features of the DX380. Um, there's quite a few on here, and we'll go quickly so we can get the radio turned on. Left-hand side of the radio. I'm going to turn it here so we get into focus. We've got some different jacks here. We have a AM external antenna jack, which will work for medium wave and short wave. Love that. We have an AM sensitivity switch, DX local. We have a, a wide narrow filter for the AM band. Works on medium wave, short wave, long wave. And for when you're FM mode, works on stereo or mono. Here's the headphone jack for FM stereo. A DC input of 6 volt, no polarity. The outside sleeve is positive while the center pull is negative. You can buy those little kits that convert that if you have a 
universal adapter. You just flip the polarity, which is nice. Um, on the front here, we have a metal speaker grill with a three inch speaker behind there, a raised realistic placard. I like that. It shines. Yeah. So they used to do it. They used to make a radio, a cool looking radio. I love it. No frills, real simple. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about buttons. We got a sleep button, works with a 60 minute timer. You just saw you get 60 minutes, turn it on, hit this, turns radio on for 60 minutes, then turns it off. Very simple. Uh, time set, very explanatory. Uh, dual time, which is nice. I have it set for UTC. So it's 441 currently AM. UTC local time is uh, 1041 uh, uh, Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. Here you can set the, the dual time to be shown all the time. So UTC all the time. I can hit this button again to go back. There you are. You'll notice four dedicated band buttons, FM, long wave, medium wave, short wave, makes accessing the bands really nice. A numeric keypad, uh, so we can direct enter frequencies. And if you look above there is corresponding meter bands. So when you hit this meter band over here and the corresponding key, it takes you directly to that band and you can search it with these keys. We got a memory feature. This radio supports 45 presets. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's enough. It's pretty basic, but it's enough. You get 18 on short wave, uh, nine on FM, nine on long wave, and nine on medium wave. To access the extra uh, nine on short wave, you use the zero key. So you got one through nine, and then you got zero, one, zero through nine. So that's how you get the, the 18 on short wave. Pretty cool setup. That's memory nutshell. If you look here, you got a, uh, a decimal point for entering frequencies with a decimal. Uh, we have a clear function. Of course, you're up and down fast tuning, and of course, uh, searching up and down. Those are handy. Stand by for the alarm system. Uh, you have wake, wake up to buzzer or to radio, which I think I just activated there. You saw it's flashing standby. That's to set it. Uh, like I said, clear. We have frequency. So this is you hit this button, enter any frequency you want, and hit enter. That's how you go direct enter, direct access, they call it. And of course, here's the meter button dedicated. Hit meter, hit this when you're in short wave, and it takes you right to those meter bands. Voice of the world. Beautiful. Loving it. Over here, you can see a little guide here. It says manual tuning. This is for the tuning knob on the side here, as you can see. Uh, it has a setting, fast, fine, and lock. It's on the manual. There's a little switch right there for that. We have a lock switch. It can lock down the radio while it's playing or not playing. Over here, we have a switch for, of course, wake to radio or buzzer for the standby. You'll notice it's got a volume slider. Not a fan of that, <laughs> but it works in a pinch. Uh, we have a high-low tone control. It tends to be good on high. If you look, there's a little switch hide in there. It says 9K, 10K. If you're traveling, you can switch it to 9K in Europe. And for the States, 10K works perfect. Of course, uh, here's our little the slim profile uh, tuning knob. It's easy to tune with. On top, we have this really cool antenna. This antenna comes out and extends, uh, I think it's like 37 inches. And this also pulls up. You see that there? So it can clear the radio. So you can go 90 degrees to the radio, which is great. I love that. You can lay this flat tabletop and have that antenna raised, which we'll probably do, or maybe yeah, I might just hook up my wire to it. Push that back down for the moment. So let's turn this on the back side. Um, it's got a cool UTC map. You open this up. It's got a little memo little pad there. You can write down your favorite station presets. We have a little tag there. It shows us uh, what it runs on, mile number, and then frequency ranges. If you notice, you got two battery bays. This one here holds two AA batteries. I'm not going to open it up because these are fiddly to mess with on camera, but expect two AA batteries in that orientation. As you can see, the positives go to the left-hand side. This is your for your backup, uh, for your clock and your presets. Over here, there's four AA batteries. It says radio battery, so it runs the radio. If you notice all the polarity positives are pointing to the right side of the radio, viewing it from the back side. Pretty neat. So let's go ahead and close that. Let me just snap that shut. Okay, an invented case there. So let's go ahead and talk about FM reception, and we'll turn this on, do an audio check. I always like to talk about FM reception because I really can't show you the FM performance because the music gets copyrighted, and I can't show this in certain countries. It's an issue. This is amazing. Uh, this has really good sensitivity on FM. I found 55 stations. Puts it almost uh, to good. I gave it a good rating because it was very sensitive. Uh, I could hear a lot of different stations. The problem comes with selectivity on FM. This gets a lot of adjacent problems with adjacent uh, strong stations bleeding over, and you kind of lose some of the sensitivity. The selectivity isn't ideal on this radio, so it just gets an okay rating. Keep in mind my rating is fair, okay, good, very good, and excellent. So sensitivity is above average. 
uh, selectivity is a little bit below average. Uh, it's an okay radio. It's great for strong locals, um, and it sounds fantastic on those. And, you know, semi-distant stations, nothing too far. Uh, it does a great job with, because of that large antenna. Pretty surprised by the uh, sensitivity alone by that. So, uh, yeah, that's the FM reception. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Power button. So I have a tune to Totterbert, Totterbert Radio, 92.9. I use a C-Korean FM transmitter right here, um, broadcasting royalty-free music on 92.9 from an MP3 player, and this will pick it up so I can give you a little demo of the speaker. So we'll go ahead and turn this up. There's our signal strength indicator. Frequency we're on. The clock's always running. We'll run this for a minute or two, and then we'll start having some fun on shortwave so we can pick up. Yeah, so it works good as far as tuning goes. I'll just mute that there. You can fast tune. As you can see, well, this isn't quite fast. It's going by 100 kilohertz stepping. Um, over here, you can fine tune, which goes 50 kilohertz stepping. That's kind of nice when you find that in-between station, especially with the bleed over I was having with FM. Um, that's pretty handy. And of course, you can change this to fast, and it'll go to the normal fast tune. It's pretty nice. I don't think I'm going to get any other stations here. See, I think this one's going to be strong right here. Got music there, and of course I could go to another local station, direct enter it, 105, and you go 0.5 and enter. Let's uh, turn the volume up. There you go, you get an idea. Can't hover on the music, but pretty cool it works. <laughs> um, it's with the antenna down, it's pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and hook it up to shortwave and see what we can pick up. It's almost 11 o'clock. We'll see what's broadcasting out there. I have a wire in the window here, and it's kind of tied up with my transmitter. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, hopefully you like that little audio presentation. I like to do those to give you an idea of the audio for these radios. This is a PL 
uh, 380 wire came with the little radio I bought. It's like a 15 foot wire and I got it in the inside of my blinds in my subfloor basement. So it's in a window uh, on the inside, which helps. So I'm just going to clip it right here to the end. There we go. Don't have to raise the antenna when you use a wire. I was told that and it's true. <laughs> Didn't notice the difference. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch to shortwave. So we just hit the shortwave button. There you go. I'm already on the station there. So that's a Cuban radio station there. So let's go to meter band, go to the lowest one. Don't expect to find anything. When there's a lot of uh, static, on it will keep finding things. So let's see if it picks up 22.5. Just hold it. Okay, I gotta put that in. So 2.5. Okay, let's move on. Just picking up the time frequency for Canada, CHU. It's pretty noisy tonight on the band. Move on. Next band up. Yeah, I'm picking up a, a lot. So let's uh, go by some things I do now. So it's 48, 45. So you can tune, but it's got mute on tuning, which is kind of a problem. Let's go to 5,000. There we go, WWV on 5 megahertz. Fine tuning will do one uh, kilohertz stepping. Since my searching isn't working. <laughs> okay, so it's still in the band here. Let's, uh, let's go up to 6,000. Uh, actually, just before that, let's go 5,800 or 5,700. Okay, oops, good memory. You know, might be that wire is picking up just way too much. So let's just use this antenna. I'm going to raise this antenna here. See if that, without the external wire, if we can pick up anything without so much interference. There we go. Pretty cool we're finding stuff now. And the world through the eyes of Latin American artists. 
porque según nuestro estado y para buscar intensamente nuestra santidad tenemos que Diálogo matrimonial. Okay. ¿Cómo estamos buscando <laughs> intensamente al Señor? ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Qué hacemos juntos? Pa Get past that band. You have to enter outside of the band to see what's up there. So yeah, pretty cool. As you can see, uh, just using the regular whip was better than hooking the wire. That wire was giving me too much gain. <laughs> um, so I think that's what we're going to find. Um, we'll let it run up to 10, see how it goes. But yeah, during the day, I found about a dozen stations on shortwave. It was sounding pretty good. Um, and now it's entering 41 meters. It's probably just going to keep cycling 41 meters. That's what happens when it finds a new band, gets stuck in it, then you get to exit out of that band. Yeah, so... Let's go to 9,000. See things up here till 10 megahertz, and then we'll call. We'll go to medium wave because medium waves where this radio really shines. It's just amazing what this was picking up. A uh, great daytime medium wave receiver uh, picking up faint stations. Uh, six nine one in Waterboro, South Carolina, in the United States of America. You know who that is? <laughs> Our favorite buddy. Um, yeah, not mine, but yeah, I'll listen to it. This is fun, though, uh, cruising around here. Saturday is more active. Typically, you got some cool programming going on. Uh, but yeah, we're getting through the band. Okay, it stopped there. Let's see if we pick up 10 megahertz. I don't think we will, but we can try. Nope. Okay, so let's uh, lower this monster antenna. <laughs> As you saw, it worked really well on just the stock antenna. Yeah, I probably shouldn't even hooked up the wire. All right, so let's get to the medium wave, and then we'll do some final thoughts on this radio. So let's gonna turn this up here. Yes, yeah, so it pushes down and it locks there. It's a pretty cool setup. Okay, so medium wave is pretty simple. Medium wave, AM band. I'm going to uh, start at the bottom of the band. We'll just uh, cruise the usual suspects and see what's available. Okay, we got 5:30 here. CHLO, Brampton, Ontario. It's kind of cool picking that up. Uh, 441 miles, uh, rated at 250 watts. Okay, let's use these buttons. I found him a 10-year, $500,000 policy for under $25 a month. I'm select quote agent Dan Sabino. The Chicago and station, WIND. Select quote isn't shopping for your life insurance. You're probably paying too much. DM590, ESPNRadio.com. Oh, there you go. I see Lennox with Cubs and Badgers, a win against Illinois in their season opener. Cool. Uh, this should be KXSP, Omaha, Nebraska. 405 miles, 5,000 watts. Here's WSM, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Ever and always mainly raised on. He may stay in school, and again, he's not going to play this weekend. I've noticed this radio is really selective on the medium wave, uh, contrary to this FM performance. Uh, this is 660 WFAN, New York, New York, 750 miles. Now I'm going to do more in-depth daytime and evening band scans. You guys will know about those. Just keep an eye out. Be subscribed. <laughs> Hit the bell icon. If you don't hit that bell icon, you, you miss my videos, which is kind of a shame because I produce one every other day. 
and show that he's healthy and as dominant Pittsburgh is. I mean, I thought Pittsburgh Chicago WSCR, the Cubs. Beating Tennessee on the road. Antonio Brown set to make his Buccaneers debut Sunday against the Saints after he was activated. 690. CKGM, Montreal, Quebec, 763 miles. Also acquiring Peters has won re election, but uh, the other big county race WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. The brave men and women of the NY WOR, New York, New York, 750 miles. Illinois districts that are still too close to call. Cook County State's 30 Kim Fox. Here's WGN, Chicago. Bits of just moments ago. Here's 740 CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. What is essentially the Republican headquarters in Atlanta here tonight? 750 WSB, Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Particularly here in Georgia, is something that you have discussed. You click listen on the Fox News app starting at 5 a.m. Wednesday morning after Election Day. WGR, Detroit, Michigan. Fox News Radio. News. The morning after Election Day, the votes were cast. America has spoken. And Fox News Radio has the very latest updates starting at 5 a.m. East with the Fox News Rundown. Election Edition, Senate 6. Talk about it. Should be WABC coming in clear. WBBM Chicago. This is Chicago's all news station. News Radio 780 and 105.9 FM. WBBM. Under 12th State Assembly District, Mary Beth Walsh, the incumbent, meets Joe Cena. WGY, Albany, New York, 740 miles. WBAP, Fort Worth, Texas, 810 miles. Minnesota currently uh, results come in across the country and here in Minnesota. Minnesota Republicans. WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. Compared to elections in the past, still the night has been interrupted with cheers. And speaker, whoever it may be from the service department is going to call you up. 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. Ground Zero and Coast to Coast. Yeah. Let me just give you an permit to pick the owner. The owners of pit bulls will be required to microchip and spay or neuter the dogs. KOA, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. Animal protection officer and an assistant. In uh, une hypothèse à explorer, à voir, ce sera confirmé évidemment dans les prochaines heures. Les, les prochaines... CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. Republican or Democrat Candy Kristoff from Alexandria. Harris has a slight... 870, New Orleans, Louisiana, WWL. 865 miles. And then we could just type in some frequencies and then call it. Respective camps, white voters are voting for Trump, black voters are voting for Biden, all voters for Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles. WBZ, Boston, Massachusetts, 880 miles. WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio. And we'll just uh, go to the top of the band. We got music on there. It's gonna. It's little fiddly switches. <laughs> We're on wide. Good. That's Toronto, Ontario. CHHA. Okay, it pretty much covers that. I like I said, some more in-depth medium wave uh, things. There, this radio performs really well. 
uh, really enjoying it. Um, so the DX380, um, yeah, if you can get this radio for like around 25, 30 bucks, it's worth it. Anything more, I don't see it being a $50 radio. Um, like I said, it, it, it's nice size. It's it's made real well. Um, but the radio itself, I would say, yeah, used 20, 25 bucks, maybe 30 at the highest. Um, I paid 45 because I got the box and the paperwork and everything. Figured it was worth it. So if you're looking for one of these, all the links below. Like I said, don't spend more than, than 40 bucks on a nice example um, because you can get so much more on the you know, modern radio. But I do enjoy this. It's uh, pretty cool to have this. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big like if you did. Um, if you like realistic brand radios, I'm trying to collect them all. Yes, I am. i got quite a few in my collection so far. I'm enjoying them, especially the shortwave models. Uh, they're pretty awesome. There's some neat ones out there. Um, definitely subscribe at the bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. And, of course, three, comment below what you think about the DX380 overall package. Do you like it? Long wave, short wave, medium wave, FM. Um, is this something you think you'd pick up? Let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.